Hi, this is Ezekiel Chiu, Forex Trader, Fund Manager and Coach at, if, at Asia Forex Mentor. So in this video, I'll be revealing what I do on a weekly basis and I'll be sharing my analysis for this week, which is the 6th of April 2015. So you can refer to this video throughout the week to spot for trade setups and the analysis in this video will be my trading plan for the week. So in my weekly analysis videos, I'll be sharing pairs that have a possible setup for the week or pairs that are worth taking note. Okay, so last week we talked about a couple of pairs, so I'm just going to do a quick recap of uh, how is it going. All right, um, several one, two, three, four weeks ago, I mentioned about a very good setup trade over here, and then it went down uh, a lot, uh, close to from the entry point up to up to now. It's about close to eight hundred pips, right? Close to eight hundred pips. So from what we can see, the market is still most likely continuous to con is going to continue to go down. It's most likely going to prob probably going to stop a while at the previous low around this level first before and also my Bollinger Band before possibly heading down further. But it is it's it's still it is still going to go down and probably going to make the first stop. Maybe maybe somewhere around here or so or maybe slightly higher around here. Yeah, so overall, this uh, GBPCHF has already turned has turned out really well over the past few weeks, and then we'll just continue to. If you are already still in the trade, just continue to trail it. If you are not in the trade right now, I would say, um, you would. It has already gone quite far, right? It's already gone quite far. Uh, should you enter, you got to enter on a lower time frame or to wait for a retracement for entering again. Okay, so the next pair we talk about is the. New Zealand USD. So last week I mentioned that I uh, we, we spotted a pin bar and said that it, it wasn't really that good after all. So apparently it went down and came back up and formed another pin bar facing the opposite side. Facing the opposite side. So now it's a bullish pin bar. So it looks like this time around it is really keen and is going to try to break up. And you can see this bullish pin bar is way longer and way stronger than the previous selling pin. So from what I see from what we can see right now, I think it's going. It is probably going to mean business this time, and it's most likely going to try to break up. So once it's going to break up, it's the first stop will be by white line, the three six five, and then it will go up to the next level, which will be hmm, probably around here first, where we we meet a series of bars over here. Okay, so this is NZD USD, New Zealand dollar. So and we also talk about go go. I mentioned that at this point in time is a good area to buy, and then it shot right up, and then it got stopped last week. It tried again. So right now it's right at the old, I would say mini mini zone, and it's trying to break up. So once we have a good signal of a nice confirmation, if it's really going to break up with a nice closure, then it's most likely probably going to head up further to my white line, the three six five. Okay, and the next pair. Dollar Swiss strength. So I mentioned dollar Swiss strength would be a good area to, to short once it went here a couple of weeks back. So it did went down, it did went down. So right now it's kind of stop maybe it's kind of stop around here. Um I would say it will probably head down a little while more to my orange line before deciding whether is this um where is the eventual trend going to go. So it should probably head down a while more. Or maybe maintain sideways before deciding where would it be, be going. Right, it has, it has already gone down quite a while from the top all the way to the bottom, close to six around 600 pips. Okay, so this week I'm going to talk about a new pair which is, which is the New Zealand Yen. So New Zealand Yen, if you go to the monthly, New Zealand Yen last month from a nice um, pin bar, right, the red one over here. So it's a good it's a good, nice uptrend, nice buying signal. Although the New Zealand dollar is pretty much at close to close to its all time high since two thousand and seven, since two thousand and seven. But there's still some more room to move upwards. So the monthly we got a nice uh indication that it's probably trying to head up further. The weekly we also have a, a new weekly pin and uh. Prior to that, I've talked about this pair a while more earlier. So I mentioned that it's uh here was a strong area of support, resistance, uh, resistance eventually broke through, became support, then broke through down. So it tried again, came down again, and this time around it looks like um, there is a it looks like it's trying to head up further. So 
here will be a good area to, to look at if you're looking at buying opportunities for during this week itself, the New Zealand yen, right? And the Euro yen, Euro yen, all this one I mentioned that um, I'm thinking that it's probably going to go down. So right now it's stuck in between my two lines, my orange line and my white line. Is That's the reason why it's ranging over here. So I'll be just monitoring whether would it close upwards. If it goes, if it's going to close upwards, if it does, then most likely it's going to head to the next stop, which is the red line here where, where there's a marked by a series of lows and highs here. If it's going to break down lower, then we have quite some ample room for it to run down. So this pair will be watching for it after its consolidation sideways, we'll be watching for it to go to have a clear cut on direction or which, which direction does it wants to go. Okay, so this is my analysis for this week. All right, I see you next week.